So for this setup guide, I'm going to get you up and running with Wii games through the really awesome Dolphin emulator, which is actually incorporated into Batacera. So if you've not yet checked out my Batacera comprehensive setup guide, check that out. It's in my playlists. But for this video, I'm going to be setting up controllers, which a lot of people struggle with, and also take a look at some really detailed video settings to get your games looking just awesome. So check this one out. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, if you like today's video, hit notifications and also subscribe to my channel, which is going to get you the latest content that I release. So what we're going to do first is obviously boot up Batacera and we're going to press F1 to go into the file management side of Batacera. So I've got a couple of games on my USB drive that I have connected and that's formatted as NTSC and that works just fine. But like I said, everything's in my comprehensive setup guide, uh, which will give you a bit more information if you've not yet checked that out. So I've got my games inside of a Wii folder just here and these are in a .rvz file extension and I've also got a .iso and these work really well with Batacera. So what I'm going to do first is just copy both of these. So I'm left clicking and just keeping my finger on left clicker to highlight them. And what I'm going to do is right click and left click on copy. And if I go to the ROMs tab in Batacera, Wii is going to be right at the bottom. And it's right next to Wii U, which I've also covered for Batacera. If you watch that one out. Uh, so we're in the ROMs Wii folder now and I'm going to right click anywhere within this window and just left click on paste. Now some Wii games are pretty large in size from 4 gigabyte and the exception of the Metroid trilogy which is around 8 to 10 gigabytes something like that. So let this do its job. Okay, so once those games are transferred into the ROMs Wii folder inside Batacera, what I'm going to do next is just go to Applications, which is the second tab down, and go into Dolphin Emu Config, which is four across from the left. Just wait a second for this one to boot up. And I'm going to just set this up whilst we're here. So Dolphin could not find any GameCube, Wii, ISOs, or WADs. So if I just double left click where it says on Directory, this should now open up everything to do with Batacera. And what I'm looking for here is the ROMs folder. It's about 10 down from the top. If I just double left click on here and just use this on the sides to scroll down until we get to Wii. And I'm gonna just left click on that once and go to choose. And as we can see, the games have now appeared. We're also gonna look at controllers. So if you press on controllers just here, what we're gonna do is emulate the Wii's Bluetooth adapter and just switch up to emulate it Wii Remote. And if we go to configure from there, what we need to do is just go up to device and pick your controller. So in my case, I'm gonna be using the Sony PlayStation 3 controller. And if I select that, I'm now gonna configure my button. So depending on which controller you're using, you're gonna to need to map this out accordingly. So I find the best way to do this is just grab a picture of a Wiimote and a nunchuck and configure it from there. Or if you've obviously got a real nunchuck and Wiimote, then just map out looking at that. So uh, D-pad is pretty simple, straightforward. And for something like Super Mario Galaxy, we also need the nunchuck emulated. So if I go to extension just here, I'm gonna just scroll down until I get to nunchuck and just select that one. And after I've done that, I'm gonna go over to the extension tab and this is where we can configure our controller to use the nunchuck emulated. So for this, I'm using my right analog stick and just doing this it says. So left on my right analog stick, and we also want to configure the buttons here. So on the nunchuck, we've got two buttons, which is a C and a Z button. And once you've done this, what we're going to do is just give this a profile name so we can save the settings. I'm going to just call this Wii Remote. And from here, I'm going to press Save. And if I close out of this and close again and go to File, Exit, and File and Close Window, 
So if you don't see this appear on your screen, just restart Batacera by going to main menu, game settings, update game list, and yes. And let's go inside. So grab yourself some cover art and preview videos if you haven't done so. And I'm gonna go to the view options, advanced system options. And for emulator, I'm using the standalone emulator, which is Dolphin rather than the RetroWatch Cora Dolphin. So just leave that one selected to Dolphin. And under controllers, what we're gonna do is go down to emulate Wemo, and I'm gonna turn this one to on. And also inside of controllers, what I'm gonna do next is go down one to customize emulated Wemo in gamepad. And we've got a selection of options here at how we want things emulated. So I'm gonna go for the bottom option here, which is Wemo Sideway plus Nunchuck. And then come out of here and let's open up Super Mario Galaxy. And here we go. So it's a bit dark in here, but I'm actually using my PS3 controller to navigate the game and that's working fine. So I've got no sound on this because it does interfere with my recordings when I'm doing Batacera for some reason. But we're gonna get through this and in a second, I'm gonna show you how to make those video sets look even better. And I've also purposely put Kirby in because Kirby has a different type of configuration for controllers. So here we go. So my pointer on the screen, which would normally be the Wiimote, is actually being operated by my rep, by my right analog stick just here. And it's very sensitive to get used to, but you'll get the picture eventually how this works. And it's not actually that bad, but it looks really good. But we can make this look even better with video settings applied. So what I'm going to do is just back out of here. And I'll just press escape on my controller to do that. So next thing I'm going to do is make this a lot better. So again, in view options, go to advanced system options. And if we go to decorations, decoration set, I'm going to take away the decorations. I'm going to go to none. And on display, I'm going to go to V-Sync. I'm going to turn this one to on to eliminate any screen tearing. But be warned if you've got a lower end computer, some of these settings might make your system lag. And game aspect ratio, I'm going to force this to 16 by 9. And under rendering, rendering resolution, this one's going to be particularly heavy on some computers. So just be sure your computer, what you're using, has the requirements that Dolphin asks for. So we can actually technically go up to 5K with this. But I do find things like Mario Galaxy and Kirby's Epic Yarn do lag. So around 1080p to 1440p is a soft spot but let's just bear in mind that the original wii hardware could only really output something like 40i interlaced or uh, 40p progressive so even if we get this up to 720p or even 1080p it's going to be a real good advantage with the aesthetics on the game so 1080p for me on this one anastrophic filtering if you've got to the highest it's going to wear on your computer hardware so i tend to go to around two times to four times anti-aliasing is going to eliminate any jagged edges in the game so again just like the other two options the higher up you go the more wearing it's going to be on your computer so like i say even if you manage two times it's still a big improvement over default settings so i'm going to just let two times Anti-aliasing mode, we got defaulted, in my case, is MSAA. Obviously, if you can handle SSAA, then switch to that one. So with those settings in place, let's just boot up Super Mario Galaxy again. It might be a bit hard for you to see the actual textures and the difference how I'm recording this. At some point, I will be investing in some sort of device where I can capture direct from the screen. So already, if that comes through on this recording, it looks a lot sharper. And that's a massive improvement. The screen looks a lot better since I changed the aspect ratio and the resolution changes really made this game stand out. It looks really stunning. And just bear in mind, if you do have a gaming laptop or a gaming computer then if your hardware can support it then by all means you know bump it up to max settings and this will look even better uh, i mean for example the river just there to shine everything on it the reflections it looks stunning
Okay, so let's back out of Super Mario Galaxy, and I'm going to show you how to configure games which requires a sideways Wiimote. So what I'm going to do is just default all these video settings back to normal. So decoration set is back to auto. Display game aspect ratio back to auto, V-Sync auto. Rendering. I'm going to go to render resolution and put this one back to auto again and anastrophic filtering auto and anti-aliasing back to auto and you will see that certain games run fine with certain settings whereas some don't so just be aware of that. Now what I'm saying is with something like Kirby's Epic Yarn the Wiimote had to be sideways so if we go to controllers and I'm going to go back down to Customize Emulated Wiimote in Gamepad. And for this game, I'm actually going to select Wiimote Sideway. And let's open up Kirby's Epic Yarn. And should you be using an NKIT disk image and you get this come up, that's fine. All we need to do just there is use cursors on the keyboard and I'm pressing space to check these boxes. And you won't see this again, so let's just press OK and your game should now boot up. And as we can see, or hopefully you can see in the dark here, I'm using my D-pad and that's moving up and down, which is now emulating the Wiimote sideways So, you know, something I found with Kirby over the years, and I think it was since the Wii U game, uh, the Magic Paintbrush came out, prior to that, I wasn't too sold on Kirby games, to be honest. But after that Wii U Magic Paintbrush, I just took a real liking. And the new Switch games are particularly good. And, you know, even the Wii Kirby games are very good as well. So, you know, if you tell anyone I'm playing Kirby, I'm not going to be amused. So, <laughs> you know, it's our secret, but uh, they're, they're good fun. You know, they're a bit easy, but... They are fun, and if you're feeling a bit down, they're all brightful and colourful games. My partner actually bought uh, one of the latest Kirby games the other day, uh, the, the, the Forgotten City, and it's just such an awesome game. So I was actually working in Blockbuster when this one came out, and I took a del delivery, and um, I seen Kirby. I wasn't aware of this game at the time, but... That was the first time I discovered it, and I think, uh, yeah, I quite enjoyed playing it at the time. It was very good, so of course I've got a copy of it today. I love Wii games. I love Nintendo games. I've always been a bit of a Nintendo fanboy. So as you can see, this is working just fine, uh, emulating or simulating that sideways Wiimote, and it runs really well. But just like Super Mario Galaxy, we can make this look a lot better as well, but... That all depends on your hardware and what you're using. So let's just have a little run through on this. Now, right now, if this comes out on video, I can see lots of jagged edges and it's very blurry. And I forgot to say, but uh, join my community as well. I just released some pictures last night of my retro collection or rather some of it. So for those of you out there, uh, wondering what I've got in my collection. Have a look at that. I've still got a lot of pictures to upload on that recent purchases, that type of thing. So anyway, let's come out of Kirby and get some video settings applied for this. So I'm pressing escape on my keyboard again. And that's going to shut Dolphin down. And again, I'm going to go to video options, advanced system options, decorations. Just remember on decorations that we can choose a Wii decoration just here. So if you do want to do this, just remember not to set your aspect ratio to 16 by 9. Otherwise, it's going to cover some of your gameplay and that's no good. So for this, I'm going to just go to none and back out and down to rendering, rendering resolution. Again, just like Mario Galaxy, just be very cautious on what you're picking here. You'll find a lot of game lag. So again, I'm going to go for three times 1080p. And anastrophic filtering, I'm going to put this one on two times. Anti-aliasing, I'm going to go for two times. Anti-aliasing mode is to the auto default of MSAA. So let's boot up Kirby's Epic Yard again. Here we go. So yeah, already there is a big difference here in the quality of this. So 
it's a lot less blurry and that's probably to do with the resolution that I've applied and uh, jagged edges they're not as prevalent as they were before I changed the setting so without a doubt a game as simple looking as this one does benefit from those changes and really if you've not tried this game you seriously need to try it especially if you're into cutesy little platformers So that's it for my Batacera and Wii Dolphin emulation setup guide today with video settings. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you like what you've seen today, just hit notifications and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss videos for Batacera, Retrobat, Launchbox and beyond as I release them. So I'm also on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro. Yeah.